On my left side is the existing Nicosia wastewater treatment plant that is built in 1979. And on my right side is the new treatment plant that started construction in 2009. From the beginning, we have faced a couple of important environmental problems like the infiltration and the evaporation problems. On the way, we have faced a more serious problem regarding the capacity. The incoming flow exceeded the already designed capacity, and therefore there was, a, many years ago, a need for a new consideration. What we are doing, we're building a, a, a brand new plant to replace the existing one, which will have an effluent of a high enough quality that it can be used for irrigation with a future project, rather than disposed of in the river. The sludge will be treated and produce a sludge cake that can be used for fertilizer and to EC standards. And in the course of that process, we'll produce gas that will be used to generate electricity. This plant is going to produce 20% of our electricity that we need to use at this treatment plant. This project is success because of trust and goodwill of both communities. Yeah, we're using a, a high technology system instead of the traditional way so that we get a high quality effluent. We get no bacteria, no solids, nothing comes through. And this is unique in Europe in being the largest plant so far to use this technology with 30,000 cubic meters a day. This project will help for both community. It's a bicommunal project and in the future uh, we'll, both sides will benefit out of this project. It's a uh, latest technology we will use this on this project. And um, this project will, at the end, it gives for both sides a good benefit. And hopefully uh, this project, uh, when it's finished, will start uh, giving uh, lessons for the farmers, what they can build and they can use this water. Due to the bicommunal nature of this project, UNDP was approached by the two communities in 2006 to become the umbrella under which this project is being implemented. The two representatives of the two communities in Nicosia have been shown a strong commitment and excellent collaboration from the inception and throughout the implementation of this project. This proves that successful results can be achieved for the benefit of both communities when there is trust and cooperation. The bicommunal plant in Nyamilla is one specific site where all decisions have to converge. So it's the only, I think, I, 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 it's the only true uh, bicommunal uh, project that we have uh, for the benefit of both communities the Turkish Cypriot community and the Greek Cypriot community. Now we, will, we are moving on to the second phase of the project, which is the usage of the byproduct of the wastewater treatment plant, which is nothing else than very, very valuable water, because it's, water is very scarce in Cyprus, as you probably know. The European Commission is very proud to have actively supported these projects. We have financed 100% of the operation of the project with our technical experts and engineers working side by side closely with experts from the two communities. And we are now supporting the works, providing a third of the co-financing, around 8 million euro. The project will bring wastewater treatment for the whole of Nicosia in line with European standards. Working together for a common goal 
is not only possible, but will achieve a better results than working separately.